6 hertz. Remember this sound. Have you ever wondered why does music affect us so deeply? It's because we don't just listen with our ears, we listen with every cell in our bodies. If you understand how music and sound actually change your brain waves, you can use this knowledge to alter your mental and physical performance states with laser accuracy. Your brain is made up of billions of brain cells called neurons, and your neurons use electricity to communicate with each other. As you can probably imagine, these millions of neurons sending signals all at once produces enormous amounts of electrical activity in your brain. And this can actually be detected using electroencephalography, or EEG, which measures electricity levels over areas of your scalp. When you graph the electrical activity of your brain using EEG, you generate what is called a brainwave pattern, which is called a wave pattern because of its cyclic and wave-like nature. The brain patterns are generally categorized like this, beta, 14 to 30 hertz. Beta brain waves are associated with normal waking consciousness. As you go about your daily activities, you're at beta. Alpha, 8 to 13.9 hertz. This is characterized by being fully aware and focused, yet with an effortlessly calm mind. Theta, 4 to 7.9 hertz. Theta is the intriguing border between the conscious and the subconscious worlds. While in theta state, the mind is capable of deep and profound learning, healing, and growth. Delta, this is the deepest meditation and dreamless sleep. Healing and regeneration are stimulated in this state, and that is why deep restorative sleep is so essential to the healing process. Most of us live the majority of our lives in the state of beta, aroused, alert, concentrated. Neuroscientists have shown us that the conscious mind provides 5% or less of our conscious activity during the day. And the 5% they say is for the more aware people. Many people operate at just 1%. So the rest of the day we operate from the subconscious mind. Most of our decisions, actions, emotions, and behavior depend on 95% of the brain activity that is beyond our conscious awareness which means that 95 to 99% of our life comes from the programming in our subconscious mind. These programs are controlling your life experiences, from the type of food you eat to the actions you take each day, the level of income you earn, and even how you react to stressful situations. By the time you were 7 or 8 years old, you already had a solid foundation of belief based on that programming from people in your life television shows you watched, and other environmental influences. This is because between two and six years of age you operate from theta, and the mind is operating in a low vibrational frequency like hypnosis. A child's perceptions of the world are directly downloaded into the subconscious during this time, without discrimination and without filters of the analytical, self-conscious mind which doesn't fully exist. Consequently, our fundamental perceptions about life and our role in it are learned without our having the capacity to choose or reject those beliefs. We were simply programmed. Now, I will show you how to use frequencies to change the old programs that are sabotaging yourself every day. You will see that in just a minute. Sound, which includes music, is in essence vibration, molecular compressions in the air that come to your ear. The ear has hair cells in the cochlea that translate this vibration into electrical signals so that the auditory nerve carry this to the brain. So when you hear a sound like this, what happens is that compressions of air are coming to your ear and your ear is translating that into electrical impulse and sending it to your brain, something like this. This goes up the nerve and into the neurons. Probably millions of neurons are responding to that sound. So it shouldn't seem all that weird that certain frequencies of vibrating air impact your physiology and mental state. When we have one cycle per second or one click like this, it's called one hertz. Six clicks per second, six hertz. But waves, rhythms, and electrical vibrations don't zap around just in your cranium. These waves interact with your entire body. This is how sickness, disease, depression, and stress cause human beings to vibrate at a lower frequency. 
Frequencies, including audible frequencies produced by sound and music, can elicit either positive or negative emotion. And those frequencies can also elicit positive vibrations in different cells and tissues in your body. But they can also cause negative vibrations. That's why some music makes you feel really good, while some can stress you out to no end. With the possibility of using sound pulses to control your brainwave states, we now have a tool to orchestrate states of consciousness to whatever you want them to go. If a drum is beaten slow enough, it will induce deep theta. As we talked earlier, theta is the same brain state as in the first seven years of life. This is when your subconscious mind is recording and not playing. Once a day, put on earphones and playing a program of behavior that you want to procreate in your life Repetition of that every day will then manifest that experience. In order to put yourself in a theta state, the music of the program has to be between 4 and 7.9 Hz. The most effective frequency for putting new programs into the subconscious mind is 6 Hz. We strongly recommend listening to the program listed in the description once a day. So your task now is to make time at some point in the day, put new programs into your subconscious. That will be in alignment with your wishes and desires. You can't be rich with poor programs. You can't be happy and successful with bad programs. 